all my butterflies out there and welcome back to my spring edition. Well, you know spring is coming. It's almost here, right? So I wanted to, if you watched my last week video, I said goodbye to winter. Um, now we do still have cold mornings. Uh, I think the coldest has been so far is 54, but that's not winter. <laughs> not to me. And by the time the evening come, it's 80 degrees. So that's Florida weather for you. So you see, I got my little background. I got my little spring flowers for you in the back on the TV. No more fireplace, right? Okay, so what do I have for you today? Always, I show you something of my day, whether it was yesterday or whatever. I said I would cook for you. Now, I don't mean sit in the kitchen and record. You know, I don't have that kitchen. You know what I mean? Like my kitchen, I want to like film in and actually show me doing it. So I, until I move into that house, I'm just gonna show you what I cooked. Some of the, you know, what I, I like quick and easy. And, um, <clears throat> I made it simple, easy. It took no time to make it. That's what I'm talking about. And when I tell you it might not look delicious, cause some people might be like, okay, because I don't put a lot of sauces. I don't need a lot of things on it to make it taste different. I, it, it had all the flavors was cooked in the, in the, when I did the, um, the sea bass in the oven with the roasted potatoes. I mean, roasted potatoes. With the roasted tomatoes. That made all the flavor I needed and the seasonings that I used. Right, so. so as you saw from the title, I want to do a little twist. I know everybody's doing spring looks, and of course I'm going to give you the looks. But my video is all about bringing out spring bags. When you switch seasons, you actually switch bags. So, um, you know I'm not a big bag wearer, but I do have some bags. And I wanted to give you some looks of spring bags that I will be wearing. And um, let's just get started with it. So my for my first look, because I got all the looks here and then I will film it. So I like to have the looks in front of me. Let me show you. Here is all the looks. So what I do is I lay the looks out, talk about it, and then... So let's get started with the first look. The first look I have is the star of the show is this Michael Kors thrifted. Um, what is this called? Uh, I want to call it, what do I want to call it? Straw, yeah, straw bag. And you can see here it has the, I hope you can see it. Let me get out of the way. I hope you can see it. It has the Michael Kors on the, on the latch and it has feet and it has the gold and cognac beautiful brown isn't this just a beautiful bag and i thrifted this bag i think i got it for like 25 dollars and it doesn't even look 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 in the inside it got that beautiful cat mm, really it has that beautiful tan on the inside and it's got the pocket um, on the outside with the Michael Kors um, leather patch and it even has pockets here. And it's got that beautiful suede. Isn't this nice, y'all? This was everything. And I cannot wait to wear this out this spring. I don't care if bags are in trend, out of trend, out of style. I wear what I want to wear. See, that's the thing with fashion. Do you. If you... So with it, I'm not going to go through everything because you're seeing it here. Uh, isn't it such a cute outfit, right? I got it with my thrifted jeans and um, my Shein uh, and you've seen that bodysuit, and I'm wearing it with my um, Valentino Raffia 
slides to bring up that raffia, you know, bring that look together. And of course you see me wearing it with a spring, you know, spring and amber flowers every year. Same thing, same thing. With this beautiful scarf that I thrifted. Uh, so I just love that look. You know, it's still a little chilly. You can put on a blazer with it. Um, okay, so for my next look, the bag of the day. Now, you saw me tell you that this was my birthday bag. This bag can be worn really, truly through uh, su spring, summer, and fall. I don't know if I would wear it in the winter because I don't consider it a winter belt. But a winter, I don't consider it a winter bag, but it's up to you. All my beautiful animal print. In case you didn't see me talk about this bag, you can go to my, what I got for my, what I gave myself for my birthday with a set that I got from H&M that I've had for a long time. Now this set, the thing about this set is, you know, I always tell you, I have a belly and that little bottom pooch, right? And the thing is, if you don't have on some type of shapewear or something, it will make you look like you got a belly. Like, it will accentuate that. So, you got to make sure. And so, I put it on with my belt that I made. I talk about this. I've shown it on my TikTok it was a jacket that I no longer wore and I kept the bottom piece where the pockets are and I made it into a belt and I all you I always have to put a belt on top of it because it's a little loose and that accentuates it so I can put any belt I want on on top of it to cinch it in but I wore that as a belt Along with that bag as the star, guys, look at these shades. These shades I got from Amazon pre, pre no buy, because you know I'm doing a no buy from February to June. And I did a help me declutter my shades and some of them I did not have for you to see because I was saving them for these outfits. I get these outfits in ready way in advance. So these shades are from Amazon and you know I'm gonna put it somewhere. Baby, baby. Of course this outfit ain't doing no justice, but look at these shades. Look at the um the way it looks mar marvel. <laughs> marble. Look at the way it looks marble and with that beautiful tan and brown. And then it's got the little remind you of Versace look on the side. The shoes I decide, I decided to wear it with. It does have the little animal print on the shoe and on the heel. And this is my Paco heels that I thrifted. Tan with the... Um, and you see it has that little platform. Vintage Dooney and Burke bag that I thrifted. Nothing but spring, okay? There's the Dooney and Burke on the bag. Feet, it has the spring flowers everywhere. It has the Dooney and Burke, um, you know, emblem there. It opens, this is how it opens up. So you can't, it has a covered flap and you just, undo the okay what's happening now okay you just unsnap it and look at how it looks on the inside it's got that beautiful lilac purple on the inside and yes this is another bag that looked like it's never been nobody ever wore it and i think for this one i think i paid 30 dollars for this this is everything I really like this bag. This is pure spring, right? And you see I styled it. Of course, I'm bringing right back out my Amazon platforms. And I wore it with that Shein dress 
uh you saw me do that as an unboxing a shein unboxing in fact i drew out the orange and even the dress has if you really look at the colors at the bottom of the dress it also is in the bag and i didn't want to do i thought about doing just a solid color so that it won't uh you know some people can't deal with colors me that's not who i am i love the mixing of colors you know i love the mix i i will wear something crazy in a minute and i love that together so that's the duty and burke bag on to the next you've seen this you saw me unbox this you've seen it in a few of my videos if you have if you're following me if not age is how you wear it across the board that's TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and I have a blog where I tell you my thoughts on a multitude of things. So I just revamped my blog. My blog. I did not want it to be, I thought I wanted it to be fashion, but I really don't. I express my fashion not through words and, and I express it through doing these videos and doing Instagram. <clears throat> That's how I express my fashion um and just everyday life so my blog i decided i wanted to make it a little more personable a little more me so it's thoughts that i have on just everyday life and thoughts that i have being a woman uh over 50 thoughts i have of being a divorce divorce in 2023 the and, and the year 2000 the thoughts i have on just being a woman period so go and read some of my i think i have four up now because i just started back writing um and i think the first one i did was i believe february 1st so go ahead and follow me there you can also um follow and every time i put a blog out you can read it so go check that out. Now, this bag is a thrifted bag as well. And this is a coach bag that I got for such a good price. And I wanted this white with these colors because this is perfect for spring. You can even take this into early fall um, before you switch it over. But this is definitely going on some trips with me um because i have some trips coming up already paid for and ready baby so i got some things for you you will see some travel information <laughs> and these shoes i bought at the same time they do they are not coat shoes they are nine west but they are a vintage nine west and it's got that beautiful platform the white and goes so good with that bag and you see i wore it with a red dress that is definitely late spring going into summer this is a dress that i take when i go on vacation because it's a perfect vacation dress right, with right. this hat and you've seen this fedora before i bring it out springtime and summer even though it is a suede texture it's the color for me this beautiful i don't know if you can really see it's more of a sea green instead of a blue and it just matched so well with the bag and i put the feathers on it myself because it did not come with feathers so you can get feathers from amazon and let it be your your like newest look so yes that look oh and this shirt i am wearing um this is a thrifted vintage shirt i love all the colors in it the stripes and then you got the yellow and the red and it's just so cute and i have my earrings that i also thrifted and i thought the stripes go so good with the stripes in the shirt and i'm starting to guys love to wear my shirts like this 
because it's made with design. It's made to be seen. It's not made to be tucked in. It's made to, because on the back it has designs as well. So it's made to be shown all over. And button it with the collar, it's just so nice and neat and, and, and designed to just be beautiful. That vintage pink, very structured bag every spring and summer. I thrifted this bag and I really think it's some type of vintage house. I really do because this bag is so well made and so structured. I love the way it opens like with this little button like that. And it is, I just love, love, love this skirt. All right, guys, you've seen this skirt. I'm gonna show you a picture before I show you the outfit styling. This picture right here, they were pants. Now I got them from Zara and I just did not like the way the pants fit in, you know, in the end scene where the part that comes to your, you know, in your thighs. I just didn't like the way it fit. And that's why I only wore it in pictures. I didn't wear it nowhere. I just, it felt like it kept rising up and I hate that. I know if you you have a pair of pants or something that you wore and it only does that with pants, not jeans or anything, that it seemed to rise in the end seam. So you know what I did? I said, I'm gonna stop wasting not wearing this because I really truly uh, love the, the color and the way it is. So I took it to a seamstress and I told her to make it a skirt instead. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. And it became a skirt because it's wide enough because it was already wide leg. You, you can't make it into a skirt unless you want to make it into a, like a, um, what they call it, uh, a pencil skirt. And I didn't want it to be a pencil skirt. I wanted it to stay just as wide but I just wanted it as a skirt instead of pants. And I love it. Very high-waisted. You see it. The bodysuit is from Shein as well. You've seen that a couple of times. And I wore it with these, uh, my, um, what are these ones? My Gianna Benny uh, black platforms. And what I did was I bought a shoe uh, uh, clip because I wanted to have this, have that jeweled look. And when I don't want it, I'll take it off. But most of the time, I think I wear it like that and make it look more, because these are vintage, these are very old. But I wanted them to have a more modern look. So I went on and, because I thrifted these for like, I don't know, $8. And I went and put the clip on it and now they look like the shoes that is being worn now, the platforms that you pay a lot of money for, but you can get it, go to the thrift store, get you some platforms, get you some little cheap clips. You made that shoe. And of course, for those who want to stay, on to our devotion. The Lord rules over the flood waters. The Lord reigns as king forever. That's right, ever and ever. That's Psalms 29.10. Okay, so picture a season in your life where you were knee deep in business, swallowed in sadness, or buried in exhaustion. Mm. Sometimes all three at the same time, some one right behind another. Yes. Picture that season and how you looked, acted, reacted, and survived. So first you, how you looked, because it affects you physically. How you acted, because some people don't know how to handle it, so they act out. How you uh, reacted, because it may have been something somebody doing something to you. And how you survived it, because if you're standing right here looking at this, if you're standing right here with me looking at this video, you survived it. So when it comes to seasons, I always say, and I just wrote a blog about it, so please go look at my blog. 
I wrote about season, seasons and how as a friend, you fit into someone's life sometimes in a season. So go read about that. It is very good. And like I said, it's my thoughts. I am not a, a writer. I am not a professional. I just write down my thoughts like writing in a a uh in your diary. So go check that out. Now picture the king of the heavens and earth. See how he rules over the entire earth? This powerful God wants you to lean on him. And that seems easy to do when you understand just how great and mighty he is. If you have woken up feeling tired, lean on the strength of your savior. Because you got through those things. You prayed about it. You asked him. And, and, and you had to go through it for a reason. And you got to think about sometimes, why am I going through this? In order to read it, I had to take my lashes off. So that's what you have to do. You have to, you have to remember that he did get you through it. And it always is a lesson learned. Okay, guys, that's it. And thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit all the buttons. See you next time.